Hey, today, and in fact, uh, this week, as we're kind of meditating on um, 2 Timothy chapter um, 3, verse um, 15 through 17, um, I was thinking that that if you just kind of journey with me through this week's devotions, uh, we'll review this text each day, and you can have it memorized by the end of the, end of the week. Uh, just It's just that easy. Um, uh, there's nothing like the written word of God uh, to show us the way of salvation through Christ Jesus. Every part of scripture is God breathed and useful one way or another, showing us the truth, exposing our rebellion, um, correcting our mistakes, training us to live God's way. Through the word, we are put together and shaped up for the task God has for us. Wonderful. Um, so that's the message version of that text, um, which I just have memorized this week um, in preparation. I've had the passage in the NIV memorized for um, like 40 years. All scriptures God breathed and useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the man of God, or the newer NIV translation says, so the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So we're just kind of looking at, you know, kind of phrase by phrase, kind of working our way through this text. We looked at there's nothing like it. I like how Eugene Peterson kind of starts out, there's nothing like the written word of God. Love that. Second thing, for showing us the way to salvation through Christ Jesus. Um, that's where we are today. Um, and then kind of specify some of its usefulness. But um, I love this third aspect um, for showing us the way of salvation through Christ Jesus. Um, because that's what it does. It, it leads us into the most important discovery we could make anytime, anywhere, this incredible discovery of who is Jesus Christ. We discover him through the pages of scripture. It reveals to us. And what's amazing is that most of us, when we think about that, oh yeah, that's why I love the New Testament. That's why I love the New Testament, because it shows me Jesus. Here's what Jesus said in, in uh, Luke 24, 44. Jesus says that you know that, that the Old Testament law, Proverbs, Law, prophets, and psalms reveal to you who I am. They all speak of me, another translation says. Jesus, Jesus said, there was no New Testament for Jesus to say, oh yeah, read the Gospels, they hadn't been written yet. Oh yeah, read the New, the New, New Testament epistles, they hadn't been written yet. So when Jesus says that the Bible speaks of me and reveals me, what part of the Bible is he talking about? The Old Testament. Um, it's literally called, it's called the Tanakh, uh, the Bible that Jesus looked at. And I'll tell you more about that in weeks to come. But it's made up of the law, the first five books of the Bible, the prophets, another huge section of scripture, and the, the Psalms, or sometimes they're referred to as the writings. All three of these sections speak of Jesus and reveal who he was. So Jesus believed that every part of scripture was good because it showed us the way of salvation through him. <laughs> the apostle Paul believed it also who wrote this passage. The Bible, the Old Testament, tells us about Jesus and him being revealed through the Old Testament passages. One author says uh, the New Testament is in the Old Testament concealed. The Old Testament is in the New Testament revealed. <laughs> I like that. Once we know how to read the Bible, which this little um, four-week series is about, we get better skilled. We're, we're a workman who does not need to be ashamed, uh, referring back to 2 Timothy 2.15. Because why? We know how to handle the word of truth. We know how to see Jesus in all the scriptures, in all the parts of the Bible. Um, I love the Bible Project. If you have never Googled, uh, Googled Bible Project, go to their website. Uh, if you've never seen it, then you've got a real treat awaiting you. They have got literally hundreds of incredible videos that depict 
different parts of scripture in the most practical way so we can understand it better. But I love their mission statement. Their mission statement, the Bible Project's mission statement, is helping people to experience the Bible as a unified story that leads to Jesus. I love that. Helping people experience the Bible as a unified story that leads to Jesus. And they're talking about the whole of Scripture. I have so enjoyed Tim, Mackey, and John Collins and all their work in the Bible Project. It has helped me. It's further equipped me. It's a resource I go to regularly. You can too. In fact, not only can you be built up by it, but you could share it with a friend. You could watch a video and share a video. Um, and by so doing, begin to unlock the amazing uh, truth that's in the scriptures that show us the way to salvation through Christ Jesus. I'll see you tomorrow.